So let's get back to Nigeria's uh, crude oil prices. Having been climbing since 2021 started, with the London Brent gaining some 28.5% year-to-date, this is good news for Africa's largest oil producer, Nigeria, in a number of areas, such as its forest reserves. But how will this sweet oil rally impact exchange rate, FX interventions, and the country's borrowing program for the current year. Let's bring on the head of research at United Capital Group, Wally Lucy. Great to have you on the show tonight. Good evening. Thank you for having me, Bosin. We appreciate your time. Well, let's go straight to the business. Nigeria's FX reserves are jumping after two consecutive months of decline. What was responsible for this? Well, I mean, off the top of my head, I mean, the most obvious reason is the spike in you know oil prices that we've seen so far in the year 2021. Don't forget, most of the inflow you know that results from oil, um, they lag. You know, you know, oil price might have spiked a month earlier, but some of the inflows will start showing the impact on the external reserves, especially you know after a couple of weeks. So I think you know those spikes as well as the fact that um, you know, there's been a lot of control around the import bill. You know? So I think those are the factors you know, that are responsible for the improvement in external reserves that we've seen. And again, generally, the size of intervention in the I and E window on the part of the um, central bank has been under a lot of strict control lately you know, because we don't want to deplete the external reserve. So, you know, if you put all of that together, uh, I think those are the factors that accounted for, for the improvement we saw in the external reserve. Uh, but, but are we seeing steady inflows into these reserves on the back of steady oil prices? Yes. I mean, I think it's largely the, the oil price. I mean, what, what, are the, what are the, you know, various sources of inflow into the external reserve, if you ask me? It's either from, you know, oil proceed, um, it could be as a result of foreign direct investment or foreign portfolio investments. Um, and if there are any other notable, you know, export proceeds that Nigeria has, you know, those, I mean, or, or if there are notable borrowings as well, maybe there's an, you know, external borrowing such as the multilateral loans, the euro bond and, you know, any bilateral loans. But if you look at so far this year, maybe apart from the, you know, World Bank loan that was approved sometime last year. Uh, we're not sure when that came in in terms of the cash. And then the improvement in oil prices. I mean, I can't think of any other factor that have, that have accounted for that because we are not seeing a lot of inflow in form of FDI or FPI. By that, I mean foreign direct uh, investment as well as foreign portfolio investment. We are not seeing as much uh, much of that. So, you know, the, 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 the clear uh, winner here is definitely the improvement in oil prices, you know, that almost hit rock, rock bottom last year. Yeah, we, we've seen that Brent is about <laughs> th or nearly 30 percent since uh, the year oh. started. But, but how will they hire yeah. FX reserves and steady inflows from crude oil and a bit of a weaker dollar impact Nigeria's borrowing program for the year? Well, I mean, improvement in oil prices is generally good for, 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 for Nigeria. I mean, as far as foreign portfolio or foreign direct investors are concerned, when they think about Nigeria, the one most important price that you know uh, jumps at them is, I mean, what is the price of oil at the moment? Because Nigeria is basically an oil exporting um, um, country, so you know that's very important. If oil prices are improving, you know the economic prospects of Nigeria, either from revenue side or from um, you know macroeconomic. Um, side of things, they all generally improves. So somehow, if we want to approach the international debt capital market to raise borrowing, if our prices are improving, then it may just improve impact on our pricing. We become more competitive when we price in an environment where oil prices are improving. The risk premium that investors will ask from us is generally lower compared to if you're in an environment where oil prices are tanking, mm. they tend to ask for more in such a situation. So this is good for us. I mean, if we're approaching the international debt capital market um, um, very soon, then we may just be able to get a better pricing mm. compared to if so, we're not in this uh, 
so, environment. So, so we've got very uh, good oil prices right now. But again, is that, does that make a case for the Senate? Yesterday, approving an additional $1.5 billion and about 700 million euros external loans for the Buhari's administration? Well, I wouldn't say, you know, that single-handedly made a case. But I mean, we still need a lot of funding. If you look at the deficit um, in the finances of the government, um, if you look at uh, the crisis in the currency market that the central bank need to resolve a lot. And of course, if you also look at the various sources of FX that we need to show up the external reserve, you will see that, um, you know, the, the, the argument for, for the Senate to approve any external um, loan at the moment are actually compelling because we need those dollars in the system. First off, to fix the um, FX crisis, to restore stability in the system in terms of general prices. Inflation is basically running away now. And of course, to bring back foreign um, investors confidence in the Nigerian markets, because anybody that wants to come in now want to be sure that anytime I want to pull out, um, Nigeria has enough capacity to, to, to give me back my money so that I can liquidate my investment here. So, I mean, the, 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 the arguments are numerous beyond um, just oil prices. So, so do you think the central bank now has more munitions to intervene in the FX market moving forward? Well, from our side, the way we look at it is in terms of import cover. I mean, what is the size of Nigeria's import compared to the size of the um, um, external reserve? If the import bill as a ratio of the external reserve is reading what it is currently reading, I think something less than 10 months of imports, and that's because CBN is managing it significantly. I'm not sure that um, the CBN is um, really in a comfortable position to begin to um, intervene aggressively in the uh, FX market yet. I would bet on an external reserve within the region of 38, 40 billion dollars. That puts us in you know um, about 12 to 13 months of import i think the cbn uh, is probably going to be more comfortable there although the benchmark is around six to three months of import if you look at imf and the warms uh, west africa monetary zone benchmark but generally nigeria tends to be a bit more stricter in, in the way they look at things Makes and they sense. don't want <laughs> correct they don't want you know um, to deplete the external reserve and realize that and we have it to make, devalue. So it, it makes a whole, it makes a whole more sense. Thank you so much, Wally Lucy, Head of Research at United Capital. Thank you so much for your time this evening.